We don't stay here again for BBC News speaking, where we bring in a live information of what they happen for Federal High Court for uh, Lagos here, where the suspended CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele, they stand two count charges of illegal uh, arms and ammunition. But the bigger way they happen currently for the court now, we say the DSS won't carry on. The prison service itself, they won't carry on. Now we don't see show of power of waiting they happen for here. The Oga for DSS don't come, Oga for prison self don't come, where then they wait. They won't carry, now fight don't begin to happen for here. We be say they will fight themselves for here. DSS no one agree, prison self no one agree. They won't shoot. They don't dare ready now. They don't dare ready to shoot anybody in the DSS now. And they, they show different power for the, for the courts now. They won't carry, they may fail, but they don't want allow. And that way they caught none. Now they say, the DSS, no one made them carry, they may fail, they go prison now. And prison won't carry, they may fail. And there the logger head, don't they? A serious fight, they happen now as they move for front. They don't run. They don't run and do. They don't run and do. The leader will carry the prison service call. A serious fight will happen over here now. They bring in a life informate of what they happen for here, for inside the court, for Federal High Court, on top of me feeling matter. They don't do here since we say they know Alame and me feel they come out on top say now both prison service won't carry and go, DSSF won't carry and go. The two power, they no one grief for themselves. Who go carry a little go prison? Sorry. Now the bigger way they happen now between DSS and the correctional center because they no one made them carry a make fail they go prison because they never meet in bad condition. DSS officer as they, they come out come up for course now they carry one of your guys for the prison officer and they carry holding clothes. We be say we nearly fall down, but we still there here. They give a life for me for BBC News PJ. Happen for here. Prison service no greed. Yes, 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 no greed. A show of power. We be say fight no almost occur for here. Now we see the monitor the situation. I say me feel they never come out. They give a life information for BBC News speaking. You see as prison service and DSS they show power now. You see as then they show power.
and here it they happen. We don't know where they go carry a mefele. We don't know where they go carry and pass come out as a different junction. You they see, see people don't they stand where GSS they stand and they find where they go smuggle and come out. Come out for court. And waiting they'll happen for Federal High Court for Lagos with this. With the Koyi. See as plenty of people don't they they watch as the brigade they happen for here. See they now they don't send everybody for more. So they are not near where the matter they happen. As we they do, do different informate for here now nah, people they run up and down where we say the prison service and the DSS and begin to defy themselves for here. You see they caught they given a life informate. The vehicle for the Nigerian prison service now you know they see so for uh, our view now they see I'm so you don't they stand by DSS you don't they stand by now they get the black uh, he locks with the far away where they look for there they don't they stand by too DSS no agree Nigerian prison service they no agree Never know as the matter they end now. As they enter the different corner, they bring in a life informate of waiting they happen for here. We sit there here as we watch as the whole situation they go. It's surprising, see, the DSS officer, then even Rafan do one of that quarter water we did for the Nigerian Correctional Center. We come, see, as the Mifid is never uh, fulfilled in bad conditions, see, they don't feel carry and come up for uh, court, meaning they carry and go DSS custody because they never meet in bad condition. But as the matter they go, now in fight, what happen between the DSS officer and the Oga quarter quarter, we be say, they nearly come up close for the Oga body. But now take of see other people, other security where they are themselves, then quickly rescue the yoga for their hands. You see they here, they monitor the situation. What is happen for here? The big guy and the Wahala will happen for here. We will see now film that they show. Now in front of the court, now the matter happen. Don't, don't, don't. In front of the court, they happen. No, we see now outside the court.
going to be there, it's not going to run away. What is the, if you have a case, go to court. After all, BSS has gone to magistrate court several times to get an order. Why are they not obeying the high court, federal high court order? So where do you see this ending today? We pray it ends well. Our prayer and what we are asking that the federal government to do is to obey the court order. Simple. Simple. My brother is not going to run away. He served this nation for nine good years. Nine good years. He served this nation for nine good years. And is this the way you are going to treat somebody that served a nation for nine good years? To pay him back in this way? This is not fair. We are all Nigerians. And we need to make the government understand that what they are doing is wrong. Follow rule of law. Obey the democratic principle that brought you into power. And move on. It's simple. Can you tell me your name again? My name is George Bifu. All right, thanks so very much. Uh, so I don't hear now the immediate younger brother of him if he I don't hear from now where he don't talk say him brother no feel wrong for more to say him brother don't serve this country for so many years so no way where we say he go wrong come out for uh, anywhere we then keep and say he don't serve this country for nine years now say uh, may then release him brother may GSS the carry and they go say all this fight where they uh, fight it on top him brother you know they necessary at all we still there here now and the brother of him feel it, they talk the, now the it is unfortunate this is the giant of Africa it is unfortunate that this is happening in Nigeria a democratic nation a nation that is blessed with people with integrity I remember very well when I was in secondary school the Nadeko period I knew how the current president fought a, the military through Nadeko. He fought to Tanel. He fought the military, telling the military to obey the rules and regulations of the law, the constitutional law. Here we are today. Three courts have said release him on bail. He's not running away for God's sake. He has served this nation for nine years. Where is he going to go to? All his life is in Nigeria here. And you can imagine a situation where two military, federal government, military apparatus are fighting themselves. Manhandled, manhandling the commander of the prison commission. It is a disgrace to this nation. It is a complete disgrace. Complete disgrace. How else are we going to how, how else are we going to describe this? How are we going to describe what is happening? What kind of what kind of look? I, I I I grew up in this nation. I was born here. This is my nation. This is Nigeria is my country. I'm not going anywhere. I have the right to live in this country. What is the fate of the poor man if this is happening today? For somebody that served a nation for nine good years, what is the fate of the poor man in this country? Let me ask, why do you think the DSS is insisting on taking him by force? I don't know. They should ask them question. They should ask him. They should ask. They should ask them. They have. They have authority from above, giving them the instructions. That they should follow rules and law. My problem is, look, if you have anything against the man, come to court. Bring them to court. Let the man defend himself. You are, you are putting him under incarceration for almost two months. He's looking frail. My brother is sick. I'm saying it to the whole world. My brother is sick. He's sick. Emotionally, he has been tortured. Physically, he has been tortured. Let them release him. He need to be released so that he can take care of his health. He has families. He has people that depended on him. Let us let us do things the way we should do it. I've mentioned my name before, please. So let us work as a country. We are in a democratic society. You understand what I'm saying? So and we should live under a peaceful atmosphere, not this kind of environment you see ourselves, a two military institution fighting themselves because of one person, disobeying the law, the order of the high federal high court, not even the state high, federal high court. This is uncalled for. Thank you very much. George Emefile, please.
Thank you very much. Yes, I'm the middle younger brother to the, to the defender. Quote me right. Thank you very much. As I'm not here now, and the immediate younger brother of Godwin and Mayfield, they just talk finish. Say, in brother, no feel wrong, come out to anywhere where they carry and go. Say, may them follow court order as the matter be now, but as soon as they see now, uh, DSS, no one may them even carry and Mayfield come out for where he did. In the general prison service, itself, they won't carry and go. Now, two power can they show themselves for uh, inside the court now. We we'll say we never know as the matter go end today, and we go they give in a life informate as uh, the whole matter they show for here for the federal high court where they for Lagos here. See the here. See the says don't block. The front of the court now, where we say that they wait, may they bring a mayfield, they come out, may they carry and go. You see, as the van for the correctional center itself, they don't dare here, they won't carry a mayfield, they come out. And a serious fight don't happen for here, where we say different people just they run for their life because say, the two powers and they clash on top, who go carry a mayfield and who no go carry them. Or go see, they give a life information for BBC News, PG, where we day for the Federal High Court now. Now, different people don't begin to they talk about the matter and we they given us the whole uh, issue they go for here. Is a copy of the warrant uh, from, from the court to get him, get him arrested. Uh, uh, the position of the law is that he has been arrested. And there is a court of competent jurisdiction that is a high court, federal high court, that have made an order granting him to bail and have ordered that should be case he didn't prepare his bail, that he should be taken to the or to the facility of the Nigerian Correctional Service. That remains the order. You can only agree that order. Or if you have another warrant, if you have another offense, you are investigating him. We go still there here for BBC News, PG, where we go to give you a life information of what they happen and as the whole situation they go for the Federal High Court. As we did now, Godwin, they may feel they never come up for the courtroom now because they then see they try complete in bail condition. But as DSS come, they say they won't carry and go. And the Nigerian prison service talk say it's supposed that they are custody on top. Say he never meet all in bail condition. Now until when he meet the bail condition, now he then go carry and give DSS. Yes, now this guy now. See what you have for. Me in Korea now. Me in Korea. 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 Yes, <laughs> He was the one holding that stuff. He used it to hit you, right? Yes, now he hits me now. I wish they. I make me feel so much better. Oh no, my business is not good. the courtroom for you. And outside the court with you, where we say they don't even put a, a key for where we feel they did. They don't allow me to come out. As we they watch the whole drama where they happen now for the Federal High Court. The brother of uh, Emefele, where we judge Emefele, don't talk, say, 
Make they allow him brother go rest. Say in fact, in brother don't they face so many issues as he don't come out for uh, office and as this matter be now, say don't they even give him serious uh, medical issues. We will say he never recover from harm. But we we'll go still they bring you now life for me for BBC News PG. Where will they uh, give you an update of what they happen for the courtroom? As you from it, the rituals now we say and they find her then go take carry him if he come off for court. We say the GSF go just carry him. I go bond and they go. We say we say the prison service no go get access to carry him. Thank <laughs> you.